G'day everyone and welcome to Divi Vobbins. I'm Logan Madison. Now we're on Divi Vobbin R4 Titan is the AFL Grand Final 2005 Sydney vs West Coast. 2005 Divi from 10 Sport and here we go. <laughs> Good afternoon and welcome to the AFL Grand Final 2005 from the MCG between the Sydney Swans and the West Coast Eagles. A special welcome wherever you're watching, around Australia, around the world, and particularly to those watching through B Sky B in the UK, and also right around the world through Fox Sports. A special welcome to our armed forces watching through ABC Asia Pacific and even in Iraq. It's a special day indeed, and we're looking forward to the game between the Swans and the West Coast Eagles. Well, two gentlemen who have been here many, many times, more than 10 in fact, Malcolm Blight and Lee Matthews are with me here in the commentary box with the MCG behind us. It's a fantastic build-up to the game. Lee, welcome to you first of all. Uh, thank you, it's nice to be here. It's a very nice place to watch the footy, a bit more calm, but a nice place to watch the footy. You've been from watching from the coaches' boxes in, uh, in recent years. Uh, what's your feeling at this stage? I think the Swans' preparation has just gone ideally. They had the hiccup in the first week of the final, so they've played all through, but they soon have got their, uh, their best team on the field and they've played regularly for the last month. They played last Friday night. I think that gives them the extra days for recovery. So I think a lot of things are pointing to the Swans. Well, it's a fabulous atmosphere. By ten times you've been here, twice you've run it as a player, twice as a coach. What's your inkling? Well, my inkling is I think class usually wins, and I just keep looking at the West Coast Eagles midfield. I'd love the Swans to win, but I just think the class of that group will just keep pushing the ball forward, and uh, I think the Eagles can, can get up. One change in the Eagles lineup. Casey Green, who's played just two games this year, is in. Phil Matera is out, so that's the only change. We can see the Eagles, they certainly mean business. Well, the Swans coming out of new rooms and out into the MCG. What a final series it's been for them. Going down, of course, to the West Coast, the team they play today. In the qualifying final, hitting back in exciting style against the Cats. And then beating the Saints last week. Let's pause and listen to their reaction. The old bloods of South Melbourne. Yeah, it's been a nice little up and drive for both of them, hasn't it? They've been fantastic and they, uh, they 
in readiness as we get ready for the start of this sensational game. As I said, it's been so hard to pick a winner all week. The Sydney Swans have had a wonderful run through the finals, despite going down to the Eagles earlier in the year, of course. In round six, it was the Eagles that triumphed. The Swans got them back at the SCG in their home territory. And then in the first of the finals, it was the Eagles at home. But here they are on neutral territory, the MCG. We're ready for the national anthem. And here is your master of ceremonies, Craig Willis. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please join with the players and the umpires of the upstanding for the Australian national anthem to be performed by Sylvie Palladino. <laughs> And that's the end tonight's Divi Robinings. Thanks for watching. And next Tuesday night is the grand finale of Divi Robinings for 2021. Don't miss it. It's only on Patterson AFL. Good night.